the Green Bay Packers have signed the former Pro Bowler, Muhammad Wilkerson. Now, when it comes to Muhammad, he's on a one-year deal worth $5 million with $3 million in incentives. And so you can think of it this way that it's a one-year proven deal because Mo Wilkerson was a first-round pick back in 2011, and he had a couple of seasons where he posted double-digit sacks. However, though, he really didn't live up to his potential. Now he's reuniting with his former defensive corner, Mike Bettine, but my issue with Mike Bettine is he really was a contributing factor to Mohamed Wilkerson's success. I mean, really, there's some years where he did well under Rex Ryan. There's some years he did well under Todd Bowles, under different DCs and whatnot. Under the Mike Bettine era, I think he got maybe like, like, like eight sacks in like two seasons. Not super, super impressive. And when it comes to it all, he will compliment Nick Perry that, that may be making him the non-primary pass rusher of the defense, make it more Nick Perry. Maybe you do a little bit better and all of that. And when it comes to it all, the, the Packers just need to add talent to the defensive front, front or in their defense in general because last time the Green Bay Packers won a Super Bowl, they had a great defense. And when it comes to it all, they didn't really have the running game. So right now they got the tight end. They got some wide receivers right here. Obviously, they've got Aaron Rodgers, good old line. If you could bolster that defense up just a little bit more, you're talking about maybe the Packers going back to the Super Bowl for the first time in eight years, which would be crazy. And the Packers feels like every year at NFC, someone's picking them to go to the Super Bowl. Some significant broadcast, whether it's Colin Cowherd or Doug Gottlieb. I can't remember the last time Colin Cowherd has picked the Packers to go to the Super Bowl. It's probably been a while, but they obviously have a lot of interesting stuff because they do have Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. But when it comes to Wilkerson and all that, he should fit their scheme well. Obviously, he's played in multiple schemes, but Todd Bowles usually plays the zone blitz. The, the, the Green Bay Packers played the zone blitz, and obviously under Mike Bettine, yeah, you should have some familiarity right there. He could do some versatile stuff. I know he drops back in coverage every now and then, but eh, when it comes to um, stopping the run, I guess he's pretty decent, but as a pass rusher, he definitely needs to take it up to the next level. And maybe adding some youth right there would be nice and all that. Look, I look at Clay Matthews, he ain't no... Uh, young gun, neither is Mike Daniels or whatnot. Ha ha, Clint Dix has been in the league for a while, so yeah, got, it's nice to have some young talent. But guys, I've been talking way too much today. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. And before I go, there's a lot of great video ideas that you guys have proposed. I got them prepared a little bit ready for them, but there is some editing I have to do. However, though, I can't wait to um, upload those videos. Hopefully, I'll upload them by this week. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.